Good morning everyone, welcome back to my channel. I have just got ready for the day. Obviously I'm still in my pajamas, but I'll change my outfit in a minute. Today I have plans as usual. Now, if you guys have been watching my vlogs for a couple weeks, you'll know that I've got this project. Now I call it a project. It's more like just an essay, <laughs> but I have been putting it off for a while and I've done studying for it and things like that, but I need to get onto it. I need to write this thing. So I'm gonna get changed, but generally I need to get this done. If you're new to my channel, I post study content, a lot of different things, a lot of vlogs, a lot of chatty stuff. Um, so I'd love to have you here, so make sure you subscribe. I need to get my stuff together at this point. I need to get my butt in gear and hopefully I can manage to do some stuff today. So join me. The weather is up and down, so I'm not sure what I'm gonna wear, but either way, we're here. We're gonna get some stuff done today. Welcome everyone. from the gym and I am so cold. I'm basically in like 10 layers right now. Pajamas, jumper, dressing gown, because it is cold. Number one, this is unrelated to what I'm about to talk about. My hair, whilst it is growing, you know when it reaches that point and you just think, oh my goodness, I need a haircut. I need some framing or something because these bits at the front are so long, they used to be like here. Maybe I can do that next week. I am going to London tomorrow, so I need to spend the rest of the evening packing, which I just don't enjoy. But I think once I've gotten some bits together, I think I'll feel a bit more organised for tomorrow. I managed to get some work done today, which was good, but I had a bit of a moment in the cafe that I was in because it almost went from not loads of noise to so loud. I just had to leave. I had to leave. I had to go into my car, have a, have a second, then carry on. And I feel like I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about like my update with my health and an update with my general stuff. My health is fine. I've got some stuff going on, but it's not that serious at all. And I was a bit worried. So it's I'm all clear, it's all fine, um, which is good news. But I've kind of had that hanging over my head at the moment. Plus like grieving and studying and stomach issues and trying to also have fun look after myself. Like it's been a lot. And this week I've just had a really good positive week where I feel like I've got a lot done when I started the week really not feeling good. I had this moment in the car where I was so like just tired and was kind of getting in a bit of a mood with myself and I was thinking we need a second and we need a pep talk and I literally gave myself the biggest pep talk <laughs> and I was like like you're doing well and I think when we set ourselves these goals we have these expectations we can honestly just forget where we started and I now have a weekend off not writing any not writing and it feels like it's deserving and it's also gonna be a nice like refresh I think I might try and vlog a little bit in London and 
hopefully will show you guys what I what I have been up to, what what I'm gonna be up to in a few days. I don't know yet. <laughs> I just kind of have had this like huge slump when it comes to writing this essay. But I think after being kind to myself, I went back in and went to the gym as you saw and I just feel really accomplished today. And I think it's the first, if, if I'm being completely honest with you guys, like I've obviously been struggling the past couple months with my dad passing away. And this was the first day in a long time that I managed to get myself out of and have the resilience to get myself out of a low moment. Usually my low moments like to do with the grieving journey can have been lasting like a very long time. And it just reflected now felt really good. And I'm forgiving myself is what I'm trying to do at the moment. And I do spend like some days just completely in house, not speak to anyone. But now I think I'm trying to get myself back out there and pushing myself to do that. Like I really, I got home from the doctors today and I thought I'm just gonna go to sleep. Like I was so tired because I've had bad night sleeps the past couple nights. And I thought, no, like I'm gonna make, I'm gonna do something today. And I'm so glad I did. And I think the reality of grief and mental health is it can be hard when you're dealing with it on your own to know, OK, we need to inter like intervene with myself now because I can't keep on like, like doing this. I think we will reach that point. I think it's not unique to grief. I feel like if we haven't been very motivated or whatever it may be, I think we all have reached a point before we've thought enough of this. I need to stop. I need to reevaluate and try something new it feels really good and i've done a lot of different things this week um and it just feels like it's that evidence isn't it like it's cool we're gonna be okay but yeah obviously i'll keep you guys updated with the whole project essay i mean it's not a project it just feels like one because it's taking every ounce of energy from me possible and i'll keep you guys updated with what grade i get and all the rest of it i think when i was spending a lot of time in my house chilling like doing stuff pottering around during this grieving process it made it really difficult to unwind at night time and go to sleep because i think naturally our routines are like do some stuff in the day and then come home unwind decompress so my whole relaxation routine is now was like a bit skewed because it was like well i'm relaxing all the time so there's no like incentives or you know oh, i'm relaxed it's just it didn't feel like that and i guess i wasn't fully relaxing because that arguably means intention behind relaxing and like how can you relax when you're grieving if you don't intentionally put that time aside but i also have the longest break from studying like lessons and things it's crazy yeah it feels it feels good to have a little bit of a break and just focus on this essay and I think so I've got a week and a half I think so that'll be enough time to really like finish finish it of course like I've mentioned this grief journey with you guys and this is the reality of it but this is also good like you have good and bad days some of my thoughts are not as bad anymore some of the worries so that's really positive but I do have a really interesting video planned for you guys next week about intrusive thoughts and about the misconceptions in the media about mis um about intrusive thoughts so let me know if you guys would be interested in that but I'm gonna spend the rest of my evening reading and a bit of writing and also packing for London but yeah.